and welcome to Mr. Wa presents today another kind of show no guests with us today but I just want to tune you guys in to some exciting projects we got coming up in celebration of bicycle day bicycle day 2018 is coming up if you are not familiar with bicycle day you may want to know that it doesn't necessarily relate to uh, the bicycle sports at all. It is in fact the uh, celebration of Albert Hoffman's um, anniversary and the discovery of the revolutionary molecule LSD and uh, it's become an awesome art event hub of culture uh, led by Alex and Allison Gray here in San Francisco um, annually. I think we're about to reach the uh, 10th year of that event. Uh, it's coming back on April 19th at the Midway, San Francisco Midway SF is last year. It used to be the war field and also 1015, but this time it is settling in that amazing new art hub uh, called the Midway SF by uh, Third and Cesar Chavez. And uh, this year I will uh, very likely again be part of the production and uh, shoot maybe VJ as well but uh, I wanted to let you know and show you what I'm working on which is last year's uh, rendition of the event a yeah, six seven minute uh, rough cut that I have here fresh off the press uh, that we're putting together to promote the event and uh, show you what it's about and what this community is about, uh, the amazing talent uh, that uh, is emerging in uh, this subculture, and uh, give you a chance to hear the uh, artists themselves. So here we go. This is going to be a Bicycle Day special show, announcing Bicycle Day 2018 with a clip from Bicycle Day 2017. Here we go. <laughs> When he was 100, he finally admitted it. He said, I heard the voice of LSD calling me. 4.20 in the afternoon. I'm gonna take a bicycle ride. I'm convinced that these soul-opening, mind-revealing substances will find their appropriate place in our society and our culture. Dr. Albert Hoffman, April 19th, 2007. Right on, Dr. Hoffman! Thank you, Albert. I feel like we're all communities because we've seen something and it unites us. We've seen the truth, we've seen the love. It's the core of reality that we get to experience. Albert Hoffman, who discovered what LSD would do to you, took some and rode a bicycle. He said if there was one thing that LSD was born to, into the planet to do, was to reconnect ourselves with our nature and the nature of the world that we live in, and nature itself. This is just a small sample here. The healthiest art movement in America today is psychedelic, i.e. visionary art or whatever name they want to give to it. And it involves people working with computers, without computers, with traditional techniques. Unlike any other time in history, there are now many artists 
from around the world dedicated to skillfully portraying their highest psychedelic visionary states of consciousness through painting, sculpture, digital media, and animation. Art is the closest that I can ever come to having any type of like spiritual dialogue with something that's so much greater than myself. almost shamanic process of of bringing something up from the unconscious into consciousness i'm kind of like the psychedelic baby of the family because i'm 23. <laughs> and new technologies and architectures. I found out about this whole community through the guys and since then it's been amazing. I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for them and this whole community. It feels like home to me. Let's go check out some of my other pieces on the other side. I started this one in Costa Rica at a festival called Envision. It's an awareness piece. Environmental awareness, uh, things like that. There's a lot of there's a lot of elements about water and like pollution and stuff like that in my work. I was meant to be an artist, you know. And what we have is art all around us, visual, illuminated, and musical. And now I'm heading off to the next room to see live performance art. You hear these stories about the artists gathering together, you know, in history for certain moments, meeting in coffee shops or gathering together in each other's studios. Well, this is happening now, and I'm part of it, and it's, I've got, oh, I got goosebumps right now just thinking about it. welcome all of this symbology and all of these ideas into the mainstream. We don't want it to be closed off. You know, get the information out there. Because the, the more the information spreads, the more people are going to wake up. We can hope to inspire a generation of people to make a change in the positive direction through just viewing visionary art. That's the goal. Life imitates art. So if we're painting positivity and positive change, then it should influence the next generation. This is going to be our sanctuary of visionary art at CASA. People are helping us. We haven't been able to get here except by the thousands of donations from our community. You are all temple builders. So we thank, thank you, you, everybody. Family. Come to CASA. And here we go, that was the amazing work done by Alex and Alison Gray, leading the charge of visionary art, a revolution in psychedelic underground culture, which is now ripe for the next level of popularity. Uh, this is directly related to our interest in San Francisco, really, really relates to what happened here in the late 60s. In the hate, uh, this is just another uh, amplification of what's going on, and of course, legalization of marijuana is uh, adding wind to those sales. Uh, a lot of content is coming out 
Recently, I watched this amazing documentary called uh, The Sunshine Makers about orange sunshine, uh, distribution of LSD back in the 60s, quintessential part of our local here Bay Area history, and really, really, really needed uh, revisiting of the mind and community for the entire uh, country and mankind, especially when we are sitting there hypnotized by the hyenas in the highest seats of power. So it is time to uh, regroup and uh, explore uh, the best tendencies, the most colorful tendencies of mankind. And uh, Bicycle Day is coming back on April 19th to remind us of that fact. Again, uh, I will show you here this um, flyer from last year. Uh, the date is unchanged. This is a Thursday this year and uh, we will be looking at the Midway uh, in San Francisco as our uh, venue. Uh, while we are looking at uh, this information, I want to take you through a few more um, websites uh, here on our Computer, the MidwaySF.com is where you will find uh, this event. You probably recognize this amazing uh, side of San Francisco, east side, um, right across from Oakland, uh, around Cesar Chavez or so. Um, hopefully this building and the amazing mural that is on it uh, will persist a few more years. Um, and then, of course, uh, COSM. Uh, the Gray's website, they're in upstate New York, creating community and a actual uh, temple, physical building, which uh, I propose uh, now to show you a little bit more about here through their own Vimeo. Here we go. Imagine visiting Entheon, a mind-blowing sculptural building three stories high, a visionary art sanctuary, and permanent exhibition for the sacred mirrors. COSM stands for Chapel of Sacred Mirrors. It's an art retreat center in the Hudson Valley, and that's where we're building Entheon. Entheon will be a visionary art sanctuary exhibiting the finest work of the visionary art movement. Over 50 of Alex's masterworks will be on display and precious original paintings and drawings by the most accomplished artists of the worldwide visionary art movement. For the past seven years, the Cosm Collection has been in storage and awaiting the moment when it can come back on view. Visionary art is a new kind of sacred art, and so it deserves a new kind of sacred space. By surrounding the entire building with one giant godhead of many faces, Entheon affirms the unity of all wisdom paths. Alison Gray's secret writing symbolizes the unpronounceable language of creative expression. The many eyes on the roof represent higher consciousness. Emerging from the angels of the four directions, DNA dragons of consciousness evolution ascend to the steeplehead, the one. The Entheon portal will lead to the first gallery featuring the finest original work by visionary artists from around the world. Like uh, kissing, copulating, pregnancy, birth, nursing, all on a kind of wall. We're closer than we've ever been. We anticipate the opening to be in 2017, if everything goes well. And that's why we need your help. So you've all seen, I'm sure, uh, Alex Gray's art form um, in one way or another, uh, especially in the Bay Area. You're probably familiar. Alex uh, has been painting since the 70s, and uh, Allison and, and him uh, have been teaming up with a number of installations, live art, 
Life is art, and Allison has described in this clip has specialized in sacred writing. Um, I recommend you'll uh, go up to Cosm at some point. Um, beautiful, beautiful community up there. But if you can't or uh, don't fly to, the, to uh, New York anytime soon, definitely come out for Bicycle Day. That is a great event. It is 19th of October. Uh, and uh, I suggest now that we watch a little bit more of what's going on at, th at that event. Uh, in this case, uh, we will be looking at um, a panel. Um, the Greys do uh, offer um, interviews and presentations and sort of more of an educational uh, approach to uh, what's going on at, uh, at with, with the uh, visionary art. So here, let's tune into that. This was last year at Bicycle Day pre-show. Connecting, I will, uh, Jessica uh, Pearlstein is here tonight and uh, kind of representing perhaps the other, uh, the other end of the spectrum in, uh, uh, of the psychedelic era, but the wave of psychedelic art is uh, strong and Android Jones represents the furthest most wave of the evolution of uh, psychedelic art and taking uh, shape and was so generous actually to allow us to uh, take over for a moment uh, uh, which was uh, previously showing the micro dose and the VR elements all the dome shows were we're very excited that you could be here tonight to be a featured uh, performer, so thank you. Thank you. Hey, let me ask you something. Are any of the featured artists whose work is, is, is hanging in the uh, gallery there, are any of those artists in this room right now? Okay, well, if you would come forward and sit towards the front, if you don't mind. Any, any of the artists that are featured in the gallery, if you could come towards the front, because, you know, you are... Um, we, we are so grateful that you're here and your work looks so exquisite out there, by the way. So, um, and Jake, over here, you're here too. So I'm glad you're sitting up here. Good. So what's going to happen is we're going to show you this, this montage and Alex has a statement that he'd like to read that he's written about visionary art. Why visionary art matters. Um, oh yeah, that's, you did call it that. Why visionary art matters. Look at Morgan and Randall here. We're going to acknowledge all of you. We're going to all get you up in a minute. But let's let's look at the now. Th what you're going to see in slow motion is all the artists here. Please forgive me if something just spelled or I turned something around. We'll, we'll fix it all later. I, I I did my best with finding your work and curating it into this slideshow. Okay, so here we go. All right. Well, thank yeah. you, Allison. And um, I'm going to. Uh, read a little statement uh, and, uh, about why visionary art matters. Visionary mystical experiences are humanity's most direct contact with spirit and are the creative source of all sacred art and wisdom traditions. With the anthropological documentation of humanity's most ancient form of religion, the shamanistic use of psychedelics, we see how trance states become expressed directly into cave art. Shamans travel in the multi-dimensional higher and lower worlds to discover a healing gift for their people. Sometimes the shaman sings a song or makes a picture as part of the treatment. Today as well, the best currently existing technology for the sharing of mystic imaginal realms is a well-crafted artistic rendering by an eyewitness. God speaks to us through the divine imagination and transforms our lives. The burning bush of Moses, the night journey of Muhammad, Krishna's cosmic form. These are the epic visionary moments that changed people's lives and through their effective communication in the arts, inspired civilizations. Through the use of psychedelics, the mystical visionary experience is now a viable realm for exploration into the common source of art and wisdom. Psychedelic science has proven that the mystical experience is a repeatable and deeply healing visionary journey 
with potentially life-changing benefits. When people journey deeply inward with psychedelics in a supportive setting, they encounter a realm of spiritual light and beauty so fantastic that many are profoundly moved and positively changed. For instance, computer genius Steve Jobs considered psychedelic journeys to be some of the most important experiences of his life. Psilocybin studies performed with the highest standards of scientific rigor reveal that 65% of the time, in a safe setting, people can have a mystical experience, a transcendence of space, time, and union with boundless spirit. If one is able to have a mystical, visionary experience with psychedelics, there are tremendous healing benefits for the mind, including the potential overcoming of grief, PTSD, addiction, and the powerful discovery of one's purpose in life. For inventors and scientists, such entry into the divine imagination reveals to them infinite sacred subject matter. Most psychedelic experiences occur outside the controlled medical scientific experiment. And many people having seen such disturbing and extraordinary things inside their own mind may feel isolated, maybe a bit desperate because the altered states are so out of control and impossible to communicate. And as you can see, an amazing wealth of visuals and art and uh, optimism coming from that subculture. This has been a special about Alex, Allison Gray and Bicycle Day. This was Mr. What Presents. We will see you in two weeks. Until then, mark the date, April 19th at SF Midway. So long.